What's good, YouTube? It's your boy CNG back here with another barber tutorial. Today we're doing the 10th fade. So I just want to start with my ball initial guideline. I want to, I'm doing it around it here because I want to keep the edges dark. So when I line it up, it'll pop a little bit more. So you know, I'm just balling everything out and keeping those, keep those edges dark. Um, I can't stand you. <laughs> All right, so our next step is open. So you want to take a clipper and open it. Um, try to go like a, people say an inch, I say a half an inch. You know what I'm saying? I like to keep things dark. And from there, you just want to close it all the way. And notch by notch, you want to slowly fade back into that line that you created by going open. So you can literally see me go notch by notch back up to the top, to that same initial guideline that we started. Alright, so next step is the one guard. So I'm basically gonna use the one guard to lay the hair down into the fade. So I want everything like really smooth. So like when I'm fading it, it's no extra bolt. So right now that's the one open. I was just smoothing out. I went halfway and then I went close. So I just slowly moved down as I was notching it down, just kind of making a smooth like blend from the top. So I turned it around now and now I'm fading it out the same principles as like open. So you just want to start open, stay in there. You know I'm saying don't go too high, an inch to a half inch. And I don't do every notch by notch when I'm using guards because like they kind of blend into themselves without having to use notch by notch. So I'm just doing open, halfway, close. Alright, so next step is the half guard. I'm basically just using the half guard to bring the fade together. I don't use the half guard open, so I basically start halfway close and I just notch by notch until it's all the way closed. Um, try not to take this too high because if you take it too high, you push the whole fade up. You're just trying to get that the last little stuff together. You always want to go back in detail, so don't worry about it too much. So now I'm going back in detail and just pretty much laying all the hair down flat. Trying to keep that blend as smooth as possible. So like this is the way that this is the way the hair is gonna lay once you know what I'm saying grows back in whatever. So I'm just laying everything flat. Using my corners, getting a little details, anything I see. Alright, so the fade's pretty much done. Right now I'm just doing a little bit of detail work. I decided to put the one and a half back on and kind of take some of that bulk off that was on the top. It kind of didn't blend in well, so I'm just kind of tapping it. You see it's a dark spot on the top. I'm trying to go back and lay that down also. Alright, we made it to the back. The same steps apply that you did to the side to the back. You want to start with your initial guideline. So now we are open again, like I said, same steps apply. So we're just taking that open an inch to a half inch all the way across the back of the neck. All right, so now we gotta fade out. Like I said, same steps, literally notch by notch. Most clippers have notches these days that you go and buy from the store, literally notch by notch. You're gonna want to fade right back into that initial guideline that you started. So from close to notch one, notch two, notch three, notch four, notch five, and fade right back into that same line that you started off with.
and I'm using that one again. Let's move everything right back out. Have the hair laid into the fade. That's like the biggest thing, like with fading. You could do a nice fade, but if the hair doesn't blend it into the fade, it doesn't look right, it looks choppy. So just using that one to kind of lay everything down flat into the fade. All right, now we got the one and a half guard. I'm fading down in the back to try to keep everything as dark as possible. So, like I said, with guards, I tend not to use every notch. I just do open, half and close. You can if you want to, but as you learn to cut, you realize you can blend into it without using every notch. Alright, so now we're back with the one guard, same steps, open, halfway closed, try to keep it low, keep everything dark. Alright, so I came back to the one and a half because there was a, some bulk there that I didn't like and I didn't want to use the one for it. So I'm just going back and refining that spot. Never be scared if you see a spot you feel like you got to go back and fix it. So you, you can go back and fix it. So I ended up going back to the two because I was just scared to go as high like that with the one and a half. Like his hair is dense, so if you hit it, it's gone. All right, now we're back to the half guard. Now pay attention, cause I end up messing up by pushing it too high. Remember how I said to keep it as low as possible? You are gonna see me here creating another line. With this, with this guard, you shouldn't be creating another line. You should be literally making, like completing your blend. So I end up not going low enough and creating a whole other line. So I had to go back and refine it, but that's fine. With the cutting, you gonna learn that you won't have to refine your blend anyways. All right, so now this is pretty much the detail process, process, like I said, refining stuff. So I went back to the one and a half, and I'm just hitting any dark spots. I'm starting off with the bigger guard, so just in case I hit with the one and continue to push the blend up. I'm saying just take your time and go through the notches and see what the hair does as you hit it. So now we're gonna bring that blend together by putting the edge on it. So I'm starting off with some holding spread to give me a crispy line. I'm blow drying it. So once I hit it with the uh, with the trimmers and the holding sprays on there, it's just gonna give me a crispy line and give it even an ash line. So um, when you line up, don't put, don't like when you, if your clippers are set right, you shouldn't have to hit it too hard. But try not to push it in much. Just kind of follow his natural line. Side, same steps apply. So after lining it up, I ended up seeing something else I could refine in detail. I didn't like how the hair was leaning to the fade, like I said earlier. So I'm using number two 
and making my hair lay down better. All right, for this other side, you're just gonna repeat the same steps I did on the other side and in the back. You know what I'm saying? Just go through all the steps. You can sit here and watch it. I'm gonna just speed everything up. Alright, so we made it to the lineup. I want to start by knocking the hair down a little bit lower in the front. Kind of make some no scragglies or extra hairs in there when I'm lining it up. I'm hitting the, the front with holding spray again to give them that crispy line. I hit it with my trimmers. Alright, so for the lineup, I just kind of want to tap the line in. And always start in the middle of the head, or the middle of the head, or either the lowest point of the tape up. And just work the line across the forehead. Alright, so after lining up the head, I want to put my Barber Magic Pencil on it. I kind of just want to see what my line looks like. And it makes it pop because you have the darkest skin. So I'm just really taking the pencil and going on the edges of where I just lined up at. Yeah, y'all see that line crispy. So now I'm just using the trimmers to kind of smooth out the chalk. You don't want your client walking around with a whole literally white line on his forehead all day. So this smooth and now I'm gonna end up going back with the um with the razor blade and really refining the line to make it look more flat and natural. Okay, now I'm about to raise the line. Try not to apply too much pressure with the blade. Like, just let the blade work itself. You can kind of stretch the skin and the blade will literally glide over the skin and cut all the hair.
All right, so now I'm gonna add some enhancements. I know everyone doesn't like the enhancements of the black spray, but my client wanted it. He likes the pop, he likes the way it looks. So um, I use a 50-50 alcohol and kiss mix in my compressor. Alright, so now I'm pretty much done with the cut. I'm just going back and cleaning up the line. Any straggly hairs, any extra black spray that was on the side, anything like that. But yeah, YouTube, pretty much this is the cut. I'm going uh, to catch you boys in the next video.